what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel so as you guys all know path of exile dropped a huge banger of a reveal a few days ago i wish i could have reported on this sooner but they dropped a huge reveal and for me personally i am so excited to actually play the crap out of this game because as a diablo player and an arpg player a lot of you guys who have been following the channel we love playing action role-playing games and diablo 4 has been fantastic i love diablo 4 but i think path of exile 2 is going to be the arpg of the future so let me go ahead and break down a lot of reasons why i'm super excited about playing path of exile 2 starting december 6th so first things first um we will be shifting a lot to PoE2 on the channel, guys. For all, so for all my Diablo lovers, we're still going to report on some Diablo content, but we will be switching mainly to PoE2. Uh, with that said, man, I did get to play a lot of PoE1 some months ago. I've played, I think, four or I think four leagues in total. So I don't have a whole lot of experience with Path of Exile. Um, from what I got to play in Path of Exile One, I did have a lot like a lot of fun with my friends and a lot of fun with my teammates and it was just an absolute blast there was just so much to do so much to like dive into and i only scratched the surface of the game right like there's just so much going on so many things that you could do crafting you got maps which is just probably one of the best end game systems in the, in the world uh, I mean, you got crafting, you got like gearing up, you could play virtually any class in any build. I mean, the possibilities are just endless. And it seems like that's even more so in Path of Exile 2. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So first things first, let's go ahead and break down. The first big thing I'm super excited about, guys, is all the classes. Okay, so there is 11, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 total classes uh, inside. Now, for early access, we're only going to have access, I think, to about six of them. So we're going to have access to the Warrior, the Ranger, the uh, Sorceress, the Mercenary, the Monk, and the Witch. So the other two that we didn't get early access to is going to be Druid and as well as the Huntress, which both of those look really cool. Druid looks absolutely amazing. Um, and then, of course, your Huntress is kind of like your old school Amazon Javelin class that we had in Diablo 2, which is what a lot of people actually really like. So there's so many classes that you get to pick from. And again, because of how PoE works, there's so many interchangeable skills. You could take a class and just, you know, play anything you really want. And I think that's really, really nice. You know, having so much build variety in any class you pick is probably one of the biggest like thumbs up for me because if i like a certain class like one of my favorites is ranger from poe one i'm not gonna be playing po ranger and poe two for a while because i want to try out the new stuff but like playing uh, like the ranger class and then just being able to you know pick whatever kind of build i want you know before i get into my ascendancies is, is nuts it's 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 so cool to have such a build variety with every single class so we got 12 classes. We'll be able to get access to the last four when the game fully releases, I think. Eventually, we'll get access to Druid as well as the Huntress, which will be really, really sweet. But having so many classes and being able to customize the skill system, the gear is so in-depth in having all of these different modifiers on here, having your implicits, your explicits, and then being able to customize and craft your gear from the ground up, essentially, so it's your character, your build is just probably one of my favorite things. I mean, I remember crafting some really nice boots back in, in PoE 1 during the Affliction League, and I was so happy when I finally got them. The boots were absolutely insane for my for uh, my Tornado Shot build, and it was just so cool being able to craft everything. Now, yes, there is some uniques, and there are some cool pieces that you can still change around, but for the most part, you can build your character from the ground up, and I think that is just such a unique way to play the game especially in an ARPG where you're kind of chasing this power fantasy, right? Like you're just kind of building out how your, you want your character be to be and what your character wants to do. Now, next is the end game, guys. We, we got the end game. The end game is absolutely bonkers. I mean, they revealed so much in the end game. Uh, and it just looks absolutely incredible. I mean, some of these classes, these boss fights look absolutely insane. 
I mean, the boss fights were already super good from PoE 1, so I can imagine that the, the bosses in PoE 2 are going to be even better. Now, the map system that you guys are seeing on the screen right now is another huge thing. They're bringing a lot of mechanics back, like uh, Blight or... Uh, I didn't even see Legion, I think, but Rituals are there. Rituals is a huge favorite of mine. But there's so... Like, the map system is infinite. So we are going to have an infinite end game of mapping in PoE 2 to where, like, it just doesn't stop. You're going to be able to map forever. And it just, it just takes that end game beyond the next level whereas you know you're just doing one or two things and then that's it so i think that the end game in poe 2 is going to be like to the forefront of what the standard should be in arpgs and i'm just so 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 excited to actually participate in it i mean you have maps you have maps here you got strong boxes are back i mean being able to pick and choose each kind of end game strategy that you want to do that can be different from anything else in the game or anybody else's is just it's so unique like if i want to play strong boxes i can focus solely on strong boxes and i can build up any of my currency and then oh you know what i want to play rituals now so now i'm going to go have some fun doing rituals for certain rewards in in all this stuff like bonus rewards that's probably one of the best things about the end game system is because you're able to choose any way that you fit that fits your play style like if you want click and go or if you want you know breach where you're able to just kind of slow down a little bit and you're like fighting monsters from beyond you know you can pick any one of these end game systems and still get all of the resources and all of the the materials that you need to craft like you're seeing on the screen and build your character the way you need to build it so it's not restrictive in the sense of like oh i if i play if i play a uh, breach i you know i won't get x y and z so that forces me to go over here and play this no you can play whatever you have the most fun with and you can still get absolutely everything that you need and i think that's just so unique it brings such a a variety of end game systems to here and it just makes it just super fun because some things that like back in in poe one like legion was my absolute favorite it was literally like legion strong boxes and like maybe rituals and i would just like click and go and with my tornado shot and just blow the whole screen up and it was just incredibly fun it was very fast paced it was just super good or even better like when i did uh what is it uh not tornado shot but uh uh warp or what is it warp shot or it was, I think it was warp something. I can't remember. But I just did boss hunting. I just like spawned a map. I blitzed to the end, killed the boss, got my rewards, and bounced. And, and I was like building up so much like currency in the game. It was insane. Uh, so like being able to pick these in-game systems is probably the biggest thing I'm looking forward to. I'm really wanting something to absolutely grind and grind and grind. And PoE 2 is going to be able to deliver. Now, I want to pause here on the map system because this is what I'm really excited for. Maps in PoE 1 was by far one of the best endgame systems I ever played. Although, I really did like the um, the like stuff from uh, Last Epoch. The, the kind of like, kind, almost like it seemed like it was endless. But you just went from like one map to another or one zone to another. And it just, it seemed okay. And you would build up corruption and you do all this stuff. But maps here just seems really cool and i really like the layout now instead of it just being like on one single map now you're just moving through you got all of these different towers you got all of these different things that really just allow you to just customize your experience to what you want and i'm so excited for this and this is infinite guys like maps is infinite that's what they said in the reveal it's you could just do this for you know, like all time i mean it's just so so cool um now next Next, what I'm really excited about. So they brought back Breach, Ritual, Delirium, Ex Expedition, and then Endgame Trials. Now, on top of that, of course, the bosses I did I did mention. The boss fights in this game are really, really good. I mean, the boss fight, or well, I'm assuming they're going to be good in PoE 2. PoE 1 had some very, very good boss fights, and the boss fights here are going to be spectacular. I mean, some of the footage here, going through maps and getting some of these guys, like these fights just look incredible. Your hideouts are back. I like that I can customize my own hideouts to the way I want. I mean, there's just so many things, right? And then, of course, we have our Ascension Trials. But, yeah, guys, I wanted to bring you a quick video just kind of 
explaining why I'm so excited as like a Diablo player to kind of move over um, and play some Path of Exile 2 and start creating a lot of content for it. I appreciate everybody who's been supporting the channel and being with us through the ups and downs. It's been it's been a, it's been a journey and we're going to keep grinding. But Path of Exile 2, I think, is going to be super fun and I cannot wait to check it out uh, starting December 6th. So, yeah, guys, I appreciate everybody watching. Like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Path of Exile 2. What class are you going to be playing on release? And, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, guys. As always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.